Hello everyone, it's been a good while, um, so let's get going um, with this. Uh, we are on the third drop. Normal, we're going to be playing with Ren Hocho this time, and our objective is search for information. Okay, we can do that, right? Alright, so Ren Hojo, the author who said he's got to find the photographs, takes a closer look at the album. Uh, one photo catches his eye and he decides to investigate further. He goes to the inn with a camera obscura and Rui, his assistant. Alright, so we're not going to need any of this fun stuff because we're hardcore, right? Third drop, postmortem photography. Ren Hojo. Ren Hojo, a writer, is haunted by a recurring dream in which he kills a young girl during a ritual. He receives an album of postmortem photographs located on his request by Hisuka. Upon viewing one of the photos, Ren recognizes the very scene from his dreams. Eager to delve further into this puzzling mystery, Ren heads to the abandoned inn in person this time, bringing along his assistant, Rei Kagamiya. What's gonna happen? She's beautiful, but she looks sad, too. Yeah. Isn't she the type of woman that you get nervous around? Yeah. <laughs> there may be more of this stuff out there. Shall I call Hasoka? No, let's go there ourselves. It'll be quicker that way. <laughs> At this hour? It won't take long. So then, the shouldn't way. you take the camera obscura? <laughs> he said he's so <laughs> You haven't used it yet. This could be your chance. People say there's something off about that place. Okay. My camera obscura is on the desk. He's got sent it back out for praising it for me. I should take that shadow reading report with me too. It may come in handy. But is always complaining about me losing things on the sofa. Is that a hint? <laughs> There's three boobies. Interesting. Oh look at oh look at this handsome young man. Who is this? Oh oh, it's me. <laughs> is he gonna? No 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 no. We can't proceed. I haven't played this game in like three weeks from the last video. I don't know how to play anymore. <laughs> so this is gonna be fun. Oh that title, the Maiden Slayer. I came across this book while researching Mount Hikami. I don't think this story has anything to do with what's going on now, but you never know. The Maiden Slayer. Mount Hikami has long been steeped in legends revolving around suicide and ghosts. Uh, revered as a sacred... is that how you say that? Revered? Revered? Whatever. As a sacred place since time immemorial, it was once the worshipping ground and home of many shrine maidens. 
Uh, once there was a man who fell in love with a maiden and came to the mountain in order to court her. However, she remained loyal to her duties and refused his advances. Enraged, the man killed her and threw her into the river. Off to a great start. <clears throat> Several days later, he returned with a torch and blade and proceeded to brutally butcher all the shrine maidens on the mountain, tossing them into the river as he went. The waters of the mountain flowed red with blood, carrying the slaughtered corpses of the maidens all the way down to the pool of purification. It is said that the eyes of each of the shrine maidens had been gouged out. Just before killing the first maiden and tossing her into the river, the man's eyes met with those of his victim. Something in her eyes led him to murder the others, or so the legend goes. With all the maidens dead, he killed himself by cutting his own throat. The ghosts of shrine maidens still drenched in these bloodied waters have appeared on the mountain ever since. It is said that those who meet their eyes are led to their deaths. They follow the women into the water and drown themselves. Though only a legend, the story is believed to be based on an actual incident. Local records show that the bodies of several shrine maidens were discovered long ago, and that all rituals and rites ceased to be performed from that day on. This looks like part of Rhee's journal. It must have gotten mixed in here while typing. I feel bad reading it, but... But you're gonna do it anyway, aren't you, you little jerk? Mr. Hojo can't clean up after himself. For someone who's lived alone for so long, he's incapable of housework. He can't cook, and he's bad at tidying up. I'm more like his caretaker than his assistant. Harumph. He loses things all the time, and whenever he doesn't have a book he needs, he blows up! He usually ends up asking Miss Kurosawa for help. One time, when I was trying to sort all his books, there was one I couldn't find anywhere. It's like it just disappeared. Miss Kurosawa found it with her shadow reading. She went into his room on her own, then came back out a little while later with the missing book. She just smiled and said something about making the invisible visible. What is this shadow reading business anyway? That reminds me of that one time. I was tidying up and I came across something I'd never seen before. It was like Miss Kurosawa said, the invisible became visible. <clears throat> it was kept inside an old box. I don't even know what it was. I put it aside to sort out later on, but when I went to take a proper look, it had vanished. Hmm. Must have gone invisible again. I can't go without the camera obscura. I left it on the desk. So... Okay. Shadow rating, eh? So that what we were using in the beginning of the game? No? Okay, fine. What is this? It may have some information that I could use. Who knows when I might need it. Yudi's report. This looks like a report written by Yudi. It seems to be about the photo album. Hmm. Yudi's report. Found item report. Okay. <laughs> Client, Ren Hojo. Report by Yudi Koskata. Verified by Hisuka Kurosawa. Details of request. Find items pertaining to post-mortem photograph on Mount Hikami. Obtain them if possible. Performed shadow reading using his post-mortem photograph found on Mount Hikami as a token. Located album of post-mortem photographs in Ichiru Matter. Took custody of the object. Why am I yawning? It's like the middle of the evening. It's not even even. It's barely... Oh, it's 7 p.m. for me. I don't know. What was that? Oh, ho, ho, ho. Oh, oh, look at that. That is our objective. And then, okay. I can't go without the. Yeah, 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 yeah. Crafted melodrama. Alright, wait. It was on a desk here, but it is. Take it! Take it! There's an antique looking camera on the desk. You got a lens camera obscura. Oh look, you also got the measure upgrade. This displays the current health of a locked on enemy. Hmm. There's an unfinished manuscript on the desk. Oh dear. It doesn't yet have a title. <gasps> I'll need more materials to solidify the theme. <sighs> this yawning is gonna kill me, I'm so sorry. <clears throat> unfinished manuscript. Memorial Port 
portraiture. That's not weird. Memorial portraiture, the act of photographing dead bodies, was a practice in Western countries in the 19th century, a time when photography was still a rare and expensive luxury. The bodies of recently deceased family members and loved ones were photographed in lifelike poses as a solemn keepsake of remembrance. While researching the phenomenon, I discovered that a similar custom made its way to Japan as well. Known as postmortem photographs, a small number of those photos still remain. I have been fortunate enough to obtain one such photograph which I found to contain a certain beauty lacking in its western counterparts. Sorry, I had to yawn again. Uh, when photography first arrived in Japan, it was accompanied by the prevalent superstition that photographs could steal a person's soul. Whether anyone truly believed this or not, it surely gave postmortem photography a special significance in Japan. If photos were taken with this belief in mind, then postmortem photographs would not simply have been taken as keepsakes or for mourning purposes. Rather, the practice may have been carried excuse me, may have carried a certain deeper spiritual significance. <laughs> oh my god, there's more reading. <laughs> Can we just get on with it? This is Hisaka's letter this time. It's a reply to the appraisal request for his camera obscura and urges caution in using it. Hisaka's letter. To Ren Hojo, the camera you left me to look at is a device known as a camera obscura. Its purpose is to capture images of the supernatural, things invisible to the naked eye. These cameras are incredibly rare, with an almost mythical status in the antiques market. A few have been known to exist, but this is the first dive I've ever seen with compound lenses. I don't mean to frighten you, but rumors hold that to own a camera obscura is to invite misfortune. They say everyone who has owned one has either died, lost their mind, or gone missing. The cameras themselves have outlived many, many owners. While some aficionados do seek them out. That word, aficionado, where does that come from? Um, the stories of previous owners meeting with such misfortune has had an impact on their value as antiques. I lost the voice, I'm so sorry. <clears throat> My camera, Obscura, was left to a local family after its previous owner passed away. They, gracious, they graciously gave it to me. Anybody played Fatal Frame 3? Eh? Anyone? Anyone? No? Just me? Okay. I believe yours is still usable, but please do exercise caution in doing so. Sincerely, Hisuka Kurosawa. These yawns are going to be really annoying. P.S. The cover on your camera obscura is broken, but it seems it originally had a box shape. I doubt you'd sell it to me, but I would like to borrow it for a while if you don't mind. I am happy to compensate. Please, think it over. You know, it's not a big deal, you know, just whatever. It's almost sunset. We should hurry. Yeah, let's go. Alrighty, let's go. Gonna look at myself. Oh, yeah. Oh, I forgot I have to. There we go. He's not even holding. Okay, whatever. Yeah, this is gonna be bad because I forgot how to play. There's a local Before superstition outside, so. warning people a local not to go up Mount Hikami people. after dusk. If you climb the mountain in the twilight hours, it'll show you a different form. It's true form. Only those who wish to die come here at that time. Did not mean to I think talk that's the inn where the album was found. This must be Ichiru Manor. So, do you think you'll be able to use the camera obscura? I think you should try it out first, just to be sure. Okay. 
tutorial, Rens Camera Obscura. This type of camera obscura allows you to take multiple photos at once. Ooh. Use the multi-shot R function to take four photos at once, dealing more damage to the ghosts that you photograph. Ah, yeah. oh, excuse me. Taking multiple photos at once also helps to get fatal frame shots. <laughs> oh my god! This is yawning. After a multi-shot, the camera obscura will take longer than usual to reload the film. Ugh. Keep in mind that multi-shots quickly use up a lot of film. Also, standard camera obscura lenses do not work with Rand's camera obscura, so... Blah. <laughs> Press X to enter photo mode. Press R to take consecutive shots. Feel free to take more pictures if you wish to ex- Hey, that was using my silk roots! Is the camera working? Well, you look like you, so yeah. Is that a good thing? Uh, well, we should go. <laughs> it's kind of an awkward. How do I run again? I hear oh, the yes. older part of That's this going thing. back. The part that's further back inside. It was part of some temple or shrine. After it became an inn, the proprietor's family lived here. There was a massive landslide that hit Mount Hikami. Maybe they were all buried under the rubble. Hey, it looks like the album you asked for was found in the old building. Yeah, sure looks that way. You done talking? Can I say things now? So we're coming in here because this is where the book was found. I still can't get used to looking at my Wii pad when I do this. Oh my god, these noises in my ears are not okay. What's happening? The camera is reacting to something. Hold C R to find the trail. The camera obscura has the power to photograph the invisible. I wonder if this is the same as the power Hisekai uses for her shadow reading. Just really loud in my ears. I'm gonna turn down just one notch for me. Not for you. Just for me. Sorry. See you there. Drowned woman. And she's gone. This is where we got attacked that one time. But you something in here of interest. I saw that. The hatch on the duct has shut itself. It must have been the wind. Oh, please. I caught him. <laughs> Woman in the shadows. Man in the shadows. Woman in the shadows part two. Items. Stupid hand, please don't. Aha! Re, stop it. <laughs> okay. Um. Yay! We're ready to die. I mean, to kill ghosts. 
Is that a hat still there? Oh my god, those creeps are still there. Why? Oh, there they go. Can I go up? I don't think this is the way to the place Hisoka mentioned. I don't mentioned. think this is the way to the place Hisoka mentioned. Oh. This lag is so weird. Okay, run. Run for your life. Okay, that's not good. Thing? No? Okay. No hand! Don't you dare! Ha! No hand. Hi! Oh shit, it's a fight. Okay. Okay, I got this. Uh, breaker. Where, where are you going? Oh, hi. Aha! Aha! Ah! Ha 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 <laughs> Ghost, you thought. All right, let's go. Oh wait, wait, wait. Re, are you okay? Yes, I'm okay. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Uh. Oh, this episode is really long, and it was mostly me yawning and reading. <laughs> I... I guess... I'll stop it when we get outside the room? I think that thing happened, so I didn't want to, like, not have anything happen. So at least we got some type of excitement, right? Alright, let's stop this one here. Thank you guys for watching. See you in the next episode when we go inside the room.